All right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this news video. I actually got to release it a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to be able to uh, because time opened up for me. There was a little slot that was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So I'm like, yeah, I could do it. So here we are recording this uh, March 20th news update. Uh, the topics for today are as follows. Aptera talking facts. Ingress and egress for the Aptera. Aptera at enter battery. Aptera in validation testing. And things that I liked. Let's get started. All right, so this first post, um, I love how they're just kind of giving us backgrounds for our computers and whatnot because I definitely use this for my background now. But yeah, this is kind of the primary pillars of what it takes to be a good automotive company. Uh, we build, we test, we validate, we improve. Uh, that is a cyclical situation that keeps on going and I love the fact that Aptera kind of highlighted that. I also, uh, like I said, I love the picture here so I'm using that as my current phone background so good times there. This post from Steve Fambro actually gives us a really good idea of all of the ways to exit the Aptera, mostly because it is very important to know these things and also because it's kind of a cool little tidbit in between their testing. It's like, oh yeah, speaking of which, we haven't, even, we haven't really talked about how to get in and out of the Aptera until they gave us these three things. Um, <clears throat> the three ways to get out from the Aptera are as follows. Uh, from a button on the door, from a button displayed on the main screen, and from a, from a mechanical lever by the footwell on, on the driver and passenger side. The first two methods are electronic, the third is purely mechanical. That is very good because, as far as I understand it, law requires that you have a way to get out of your vehicle mechanically as well as uh, electronically. Uh, the mechanical, of course, being a backup just in case. All right, Aptera was at enter battery and gave us some real, uh, real data on what their battery is going to be and what, uh, what kind of cells and all that kind of stuff. We already kind of knew the cells, but we didn't know how many. And so uh, Junmo Kim gave us a good breakdown of the number of batteries and the battery pack. With that, I actually made it a point to do a little bit of math in my. Uh, on my channel to kind of let you guys know what I calculated their actual battery capacity to be, which was around 43.7 kilowatt hours. Uh, that number could be wrong because again, I literally just extrapolated from the data given. So yeah, take that with a grain of salt, but it is possible that I have calculated and shared the battery pack size. Aptera is still doing validation testing and giving me more background pictures as we go along here. This one says, more miles, more data, more reliability. Each day the team works extremely hard to validate vehicle systems in the real world. This makes me think that they're going to have some kind of something to give us as far as uh, battery testing results and things like that by the end of May. Um, I believe I've said that in the past, but now I'm getting more and more confident that the end of May uh, perhaps the beginning of uh, June will be the time frame where we get all of the data for how efficient Aptera is, how the solar is performing, etc, etc. Now, again, that could be completely wrong. Please do take that with a grain of salt, but uh, yeah, just my, my mind is working towards a May, uh, late May, early June time frame for them getting us uh, some numbers for Aptera testing for their efficiency, etc. All right, it is time for things that I liked. The first thing that I liked today was a video by Drive the Lightning. They talked about affordable used electric vehicles and the best one to get in 2025. I suggest you guys check this video out because it was very informative for me, a person who does not currently have an EV, um, and it would probably be pretty uh, helpful for anybody else who is in my position where they have uh, very high regard for electric vehicles but do not currently own one because reasons. So Talos have shared this video that I liked this week that was basically a, a remix of Eye of the Tiger with a bunch of really cool shots of the Telo truck. 
I love seeing stuff like this, especially fan-made edits like this one, because it shows the creativity and the uh, passion of the community associated with whatever that thing happens to be, in this case, the Tello truck. Uh, very fun video, uh, fairly short video, but still really, really good. All right, the last thing that I liked this week was a video by Zeroth. He talked about the Axial Flux motor and uh, this particular type of Axial Flux motor that Lamborghini is putting into their vehicles. Um, he talks about the company that made it, the person that uh, put it out, uh, like made the prototype for it and uh, how it works and all kinds of fun stuff there. Uh, just learning about electric motors is fun to me at this point. So if you guys see this video, uh, and heard my explanation of it and thought it was really cool, I would suggest checking it out because it is kind of nerdy and that is right up my alley. All right, folks, thank you guys so much for watching this particular news video. I am the Ninjineer. If you have anything to uh, add to this discussion, please do so in the comments. Please like and subscribe and all of the other YouTube-y things that you could possibly do. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support and engagement I've gotten so far. Uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. Aptera is still... Blah, blah, blah.